Hey guys, this is Frank. Um, sorry I haven't been here in a while to post. I appreciate uh, those of you who are still watching and commenting and subscribing. Um, it's just been really crazy. I've been working on my daughter's house trying to get the remodel done. I've just about got all the trim work finished so I can return back to just working on batteries almost full time. Well, besides my job and other responsibilities of being a father of five. So I will uh, continue to try to post on a weekly basis, but it's been uh, kind of a long haul lately. So with that, let's jump into the uh, continuation of the bus bars that I had created in the last video and how I apply them to the cells to create a battery pack. Currently it's running at about 15.5 volts. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. Hey guys, this is Frank and this is the DIY Engineer channel and I am grateful that you are here. If you're into things like solar and batteries and automobiles and construction, then this is the channel for you. Please subscribe below, leave comments. I try to get back on a regular basis to uh, answer any questions you might have. Hopefully what I'm producing here is helpful to you and that it will help you in your projects. All right guys, so what I wanna show you here is, if you remember I was trying to put together these bus bars and make these happen. Um, I love the loops. Uh, someone had left a comment about why am I using these crimps when I could just use a dab of solder and put these together and so that's exactly what I did. So I appreciate the comments. Thank you so much, that was very helpful. Um, you can see here I have my positives. This is one cell bank here and another and two and three, four. So there's four, there's four cell banks. And what we're doing is we're just putting these in, in series. So we have a 4S that will run um, all of these cells. And I still need to pull the numbers on how many amp hours I have in this, but I will try to get that and post it at the end of the video so you can see how many amp hours are in this actual battery pack. So what we're looking at here is I just soldered each of these together with the fuses. And there's a single bus bar that ran down the side. So this is what the straight bus bars were for, was to add to the sides. So these went down the sides of each of these loops so that it would all tie together. And that seemed to work out really well. So that's this side. Now let's review the other side of the battery. Okay, and over here, it's kind of just the opposite, where I ran double bus bars over here and then in the center I ran the loops because I needed to tie this cell set to this cell set, which then turns out makes this my negative pole. This is negative and this is positive and they're on opposite ends of the, the battery. And the reason for that is so that the juice will flow through the cell. It flows across all the cells. If I had both of my poles on one end, what would happen is, is I would draw more from these top cells and less from the bottom cells. They would still draw from them, but it wouldn't be as efficient. And so by putting them in opposite corners, it actually causes the, the flow to go across the cells, incorporating more of the cells instead of just um, a few at a time. All right, um, and what I did is I added in my BMS leads. So those are in place. One of the things I learned, I haven't done it and I'm not gonna, is I can't set this down on its face like on a piece of metal. <laughs> because it will short, it'll get hot, it'll probably weld it, because uh, there's a lot of amps there. But right now, I'm gonna go ahead after this video and I'm gonna put on some uh, cap-on tape. So I have my cap-on tape here and I'll tape these so that they don't, they're not exposed and it'll protect those, those leads. And then I still have to figure out how I'm gonna connect these um, together, so I'm still working on that engineering piece on how I'm gonna run my, um, my end poles together. But that shouldn't be too difficult. So what you're looking at here is this is just a battery monitor and it's clicking through each of the cell sets. So all the cells together, I'm looking at 15.7. The first cell set is 3.9, 3.9, 3.9, and fourth cell set is 3.86. So they're pretty close to each other. Uh, not exactly perfect, but they are pretty dang close. And I'm happy about that. Um, I do have my BMS for this. The BMS is one I ordered in. I actually ordered in some smaller ones, if you remember, and I didn't, 
I wasn't, this was, this one here is one of the smaller BMSs that I ordered in and it just does not handle, this has got a 30 amp max. So it's, it doesn't handle a lot of amperage. And so I use this, I'll use this on smaller packs, on smaller cell sets. Um, but on these bigger ones, I, I need to go to a larger one. So I ordered in this BMS here. It's pretty much a no name. Uh, I did get it on Amazon and it is a hundred amp. So it'll allow me to draw 100 amps from this cell set through this BMS. And it also has the balance function. So when I apply this, it will actually um, has the ability to go in and actually balance out the cells. Now I can't see a lot going on because there's no lights, there's no nothing. And I haven't fully hooked it up yet. I still need to hook up my battery poles to this. And I'll do that probably in the next video to show you how I did it. But this will just mount to the top of this, which will control the voltage and the amperage throughout the cells so that I don't overcharge them or undercharge them. Um, just allows a little more control and it also will give me a balancing function so I don't have to worry about going back and doing like bottom balancing or working through are they balanced. And I can come back with tools like this or uh, it's right here, it's on my desk. Or like this where I can go through and actually look at the cells in a little more detail. So this one here gives me the ability to uh, where's my negative pole? Negative over here. And I can go through and look at the cells and see um, how charged they are. So my type is um, yeah, lithium ion. So I'm showing it 86% on cell set one. And then I can walk through each of the different cell sets. Cell set two is 85%. Cell set three is at 85. Cell set four is at 84. Um, anyway, so this has balance features and stuff built into it, so I could actually use it for a balancer. Or I can time into my IMAX 6 Mini, and anyway, so there's a lot of different ways that I can balance this out, but ultimately I'm going to use a BMS so that I don't have to worry about it, so I can move about without having any um, issues. Let me actually walk through really quick here, the, the I'm going to probably do this in the next video as well, but the BMS... Um, system on how this works. A lot of these BMSs will have a diagram showing you how to wire them. And on this one it's really simple because you just take the negative which is on this end over here. It's usually your black. It's usually the black wire on the BMS wiring. And that's my black on this end so I know that that's my negative pole. And that just goes to my first negative. And so that's my primary negative so it's down here. So this is connection number one, which is my black. Then connection two goes between the first battery set, which is this battery set and this battery set on the negative side. So I need to go to the other side over here, and this is number two. And so you're seeing it's going on the negative side between these two cells. So I'm on this one here, and if you look, it's the blue wire is number two. And then yellow is number three, and that will actually tie to the third battery set. So this is one, two, three, third battery set on the negative pole. So I'm on my negative pole, number three. And then number four is going to go to the fourth battery set, which is over here. One, two, three, four, battery set on the negative pole. That's my white wire, sure enough on here, my white wire. And then the red goes to my concluding positive just like it indicates here. So the last wire goes to positive. And then I'll come back and I'll wire um, a positive lead from this down here into, actually it'll go to the charger, doesn't even go into the, the BMS. And then the negative, this pole down on this end, will come back and it'll tie into this battery negative. And then the C negative right here is gonna go part of my charging, it'll go to my charging unit. So the energy will flow through here and this here will handle all of the uh, the balancing and the battery activity for charging. So I don't overcharge or undercharge and I don't overdraw. Uh, it'll have auto shutoffs to protect the cells. So it's just another um, line of defense against damaging the cells ultimately. So hopefully this is helpful and uh, I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next video.